a real simple crock pot thing we're gonna do today real easy y'all so look before we get into it let's go and do that housekeeping because y'all always try to make me forget but if you ain't su subscribed <laughs> please subscribe comment hit that like button also hit the bell to be notified so you'll know when i come all this stuff but look Let's go on and get into it. We're going to make a uh, Mississippi meatballs, y'all. This is like 28 ounces of uh, frozen meatballs. We're going to put that in there. When I say it's simple, if y'all had the uh, Mississippi roast, pot roast, and the Mississippi chicken, y'all will know what I'm talking about. So today we're going to do the little meatballs, okay? So, you know, the kids might really love that because they love meatballs and stuff. So you use the same ingredients. So we're going to use some oh it's just crazy <laughs> we're gonna put that in there okay put that off in there i hope y'all having a wonderful week so far i hope it is wonderful we're gonna use some uh some ranch seasoning one pack of ranch seasoning hold on y'all wait a minute Okay, y'all, I'm back. I forget. Y'all made me forget the stick of butter. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Why y'all be doing that kind of stuff? Trying to sabotage me. Okay, one stick of butter like we do on the pot roast. You know, you know the drill. We're going to use some pepperoncinis. Get you some pepperoncinis. Don't matter what brand. You ain't going to be able to tell by tasting it, okay? We're going to put those pepperoncinis in there. Now, I'm going to pour some juice in there, but not a lot. If you like spicy, then you can pour a lot because it will give a little kick to it. But if you, you know, if you don't, you got family that can't take spice, just put a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. And I know y'all probably saying, oh, that's a lot of sodium. Let me tell you a secret real quick. Let me come close. You can do it different at your house. <laughs> Just playing, but look, <laughs> we're gonna cook this on low for about four or five hours and we're gonna come back and see how she looking, okay? But I'm gonna be back, <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm back and I'm about to add a little something, something into it, okay? I'm gonna add a little beef broth to give it a little more juice, but look at her so far, ain't she cute? I'm gonna add some beef broth, you can add water if you like, okay. I'm going to add some onions also. I'm going to put some beef broth, but I'm going to add some onions. You don't have to do this part. I just want a little onion in it. <laughs> I want a little onion. But she looking all caramelized and stuff. You see her? She cute. She is cute. But yeah, you don't have to use beef broth if you think it's adding sodium. You can put some water, a little water. It don't need much. Okay. Put that off in there. She cute and smell good. You already know how that Mississippi do. You know how the Mississippi do. Okay, put that one little more. And then I'm going to add just a little tanch, a little tanch of beef broth. A little tanch. Spread it off right now. Okay, and it just depends on how much liquid you want in yours. I don't want that much in mine. Okay. And it's going to finish, you know, making its own little liquid anyway. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. And I'm going to let it continue to cook. Get them onions cooked off in there. Okay. And I'm going to show you how she look in a minute. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and this is how she look. Look at her. Look at her. She cute. She is cute. And you can put more liquids in here if you want. Like I said, you could put water. You could put uh, some beef broth, but I don't want that much liquid. And if you want to make it thicker, you could take some of that broth and, uh, you know, put some cornstarch in it to make your gravy thicker if you want some thick gravy. But I don't need it. I don't need it, so I'm not gonna do it. But look at her, y'all take a look, ain't she cute? 
that Mississippi meatballs. Okay, and y'all know how to do the Mississippi stuff. You know, they got the doggone pot roast, the chicken, the pasta. I mean, they got everything. Now it's the meatballs. <laughs> it's the meatballs. Something simple, quick. There's going to be a little appetizer and stuff. You see her. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up so you can get a better, a better, better vision of it, okay? Because you're probably like, mm -mm, I don't know about that. It don't look like it's supposed to be looking. <laughs> but I'ma show you, quit playing with her. I'll be back. Hey y'all, I'm back and I'm finished with this crock pot Mississippi meatballs, y'all. When I tell you, it's better than the barbecue was. <laughs> Yo, but look, it get, I mean, it just, you know, it depends if you love barbecue sauce, it depends. But it could be, you know, you could switch them out, you know, something else to do instead of doing barbecue meatballs all the time, barbecue sauce with the jelly and all that. This is something different. You could do the Mississippi meatballs. But look, I went ahead and paired it with some mashed potatoes. You could pair it with some rice, or you could actually put it on a little bun with some provolone cheese or some Swiss cheese. Put them meatballs on there, honey. That's some good eating. <laughs> That is some good eating. I quit playing with her. But I'm going to let you look at her. Go look at her. Quit playing. Go look at her. I done hold, held you up and jump. Look at her. Get close up on that thing. It's sitting on some mashed potato with the gravy seeping through slowly. <laughs> it got the little onions on there with the pepper cheetahs. For all those spicy people out there that like the little spicy pepper chili, take a bite of the pepper chili, take a bite of the meatball, then take a bite of the mashed potatoes, whichever way you want to eat that thing. <laughs> I'm telling you, it tastes so good. Now, don't get me wrong, the uh, the pot roast I think is the best Mississippi, you know, seasoning on the meat on the uh, on the pot roast. But don't trip on these doggone meatballs. Don't trip on it. And you saw how fast and easy it was. Besides me running my mouth, you saw how fast and easy that was. <laughs> but y'all, I hope y'all try this. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in with me on this Tuesday. On this Taco Tuesday, but we did some meatballs. But y'all, be safe out there. I love y'all, and I'm going to see you again next time. Bye-bye.